Shalom. A great light in the annals of history, in the annals of Jewish tradition, is Rabbi Nachman of Breslov. One of his teachings is Mitzvah Gedola Liot Bisimcha Tamid. Is a great mitzvah, a righteous deed, to be always happy. And the fact is, if we look, if you look in other Jewish writings, this is not stressed. Although we find it in the Bible, in the portion called the Tochecha, the rebuke, when we're told of disasters that would come upon the people, heaven forbid, if they misbehave. It says, because you didn't serve God with joy. Joy seems to be a fundamental for man's relationship with God. Rabbi Nachman said that it goes far beyond that. That the ultimate reason for disobeying God is not an evil force, it's depression. If a person is depressed, he feels what I do no longer matters. Not to me, not to anyone, certainly not to God. If a person is happy, we read in the Bible, there is strength and joy in God's place. A person who is happy feels close to God. Even if he makes a mistake, the mistake will not be the same as someone who is not joyous, who doesn't feel that closeness. Rabbi Nachman also quotes a verse Rejoicing and gladness they will grasp. He gives the example of a person who is at a joyous occasion, say a wedding, and people are dancing. He's sitting to the side, unhappy, worrying about one thing or another, and suddenly somebody grabs him and says, come on, let's dance, get into the circle, start being happy. At first he might accommodate only outwardly. There's a saying, the feet lift the heart. And eventually he will become happy too. Ben Nachman said the same way with our inner feelings. We have many emotions, many reactions to the trials and tribulations of life. But we have to get to a happiness where even those dark corners of our personalities rejoice, begin to dance, then when you feel close to God, and once we're close to God, prayer, study, contemplation, all become acts of worship, happy acts of worship. Let's be happy. Let's be close to God.